Welcome ladies and gentlemen to Let's Play 60 Seconds. My name is Weasel and today we're going to do the Outnumber Challenge or on a sub note the Female Power Challenge, whatever you want to call it. Icy Caress um, suggested that one. Many of you wanted to see it and it's actually I'm, I'm impressed what kind of work you put into uh, the challenges. This one has a little story and objectives and uh, things I may bring. So I'm gonna let's let's just go over the story. I'm really psyched about this one. Your wife heard of your air raid preparations or like they're off and has made a list of what you will bring into the shelter. You know what she's like if you deviate from that list even just to bring a measly gun you will never hear the end of it. Let's spare the headache and do what she says. Wait no Timmy? <laughs> Alright, so the objectives, the wife and the daughter must survive until day 50. Wife and daughter may not go outside, they forced Ted to do all the work. Uh, you may not trade or gamble with any travelers, this includes the desperate travel event. And you do whatever else you can survive with the tools at hand. Uh, I am allowed to bring Ted, the wife, the daughter, two cans of food, uh, two, three water bottles, a flashlight, a radio, a chessboard, and the Boy Scout book. Which is going to be tricky to grab all of these items, but I will do my best. And, um, yeah, let's go into the hard difficulty, let's start a new run, and let's go and grab all of these items. I hope I, I can get them all. I really do hope so. Let's start with uh, wife and daughter, or whatever we can get our hands on first. Um, no axe. Okay, there's the wife. Very good. I can't grab the daughter yet, so I will grab two bottles of water as well. Here you go. Yeah, yeah, blah, blah, blah. And let's grab the daughter and the third bottle of water that I'm allowed to bring. Uh, radio's here as well, fantastic. Let's grab that then. Radio, yes! The torch is on the other side, so I will grab that real quick. Thank you. The chessboard! It's actually a checkers board. I mean, it's checkers on a chessboard, they're identical. Uh, the radio... Wait, I grabbed the radio, right. Um, The Boy Scout book. Where's the Boy Scout book? Gotta find that one. Ah, there it is. Whoop. Uh, am I allowed to bring a med kit? No! Did I bring food? I don't remember bringing food, actually. Did I pack food? Oh, oh. I do not remember packing food, so... Oh, come on! Don't be like this. Silly cheer. Why you do this? Cheer, why you do this? Alright. And... I think that is the last item I can grab if I forgot something. Oh, it's the worst. I will never hear the end of it, won't I? I might have gotten everything, though. I might have gotten everything. Well, we will have to survive until day 50. To win that challenge. Alright, let's see if I got everything. <sighs> hey girls! No Timmy? Okay, two cans of soup. Check. Three bottles of water. Check. The daughter. Yerp. The wife. Yerp. Ted. Yerp. I always have to bring Ted. Um, the torch. The radio. The Boy Scout book. And the checkers. I got all the items. Fantastic. So let's make sure we survive until day 50. Y yes, 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 Dolores. Yes, yes. I will do my best. Ah, we got to the shelter just in time. Good thing Mary Jane didn't bring her tuba. Her fan noises here is bad enough. Wait a second, where's Timmy? Well, Timmy. <laughs> Who knows? Who knows? Um, just left him back there. He's gonna be fine. He can't fight for himself. He's a man now. <clears throat> In this crazy world. Okay, so we're gonna have to ration everything strictly, of course. And uh, Ted is going to be the guy that always goes out. Right now, I'm not gonna send him. We're gonna wait him a little bit. Um, not on the first day. Maybe we get lucky. And uh, the fallout goes away. Then again, sending him out early might make sense. Because we get important items that we may need. <sighs> and I can't send him outside. I can't send the daughter. Ah, well. Maybe Mary Jane is becoming a uh, mutant. That might be nice. Okay, wait, how long could we hang out in here? We could hang out 20 days. Uh, yeah, roughly 20 days without actually sending anyone out. So might just as well sit in here for a while and see what happens. Uh, our favorite radio station stopped broadcasting. No, we should not tinker with the radio. You're just going to break it. Let's just not do that. Let's not break our radio. I would be very happy about that. If we could not break it. Okay. Technical issues. Oh, yeah, definitely. Uh, you know, getting new is kind of a technical issue. Just not some you then tell people about. You just kind of run. Anyway. Uh, water left. Ted is thirsty. Yes, we're all thirsty. And nope, no gas mask. Therefore, I cannot grab the crates that the government just dropped on my head. Can't, can't do that. But yeah, I gotta say, really impressed um, that the challenges are now getting like stories around it, which makes them actually really fun and these l funny objectives. Um, they're actually quite interesting. 
By the way, if you guys have an idea for a challenge, leave them below or uh, upvote challenges that you want to see. Um, it was too dangerous to go out there without any protection, so we decided to stay indoors and listen to the radio. Exactly. Very good. Day four. Nobody's complaining except, you know, about the water. And we have an earthquake. <sighs> of course it's an earthquake. <sighs> we need to grab something before everything gets smashed to pieces. What kind of earthquake is this? Oh well, let's grab the radio. Everything else seems to be made out of freaking glass or so. And again, a you know, torch kind of has glass at the top. So, it's not, you know, at the bulb. That definitely can break. I can see that. The radio, just put it on the floor. I mean, what's going to happen? It's like, topple over? Man. Earthquake or not, nothing is going to stand between us on our daily dose of radio static. I agree. And it's time for water. We do not want them to die. That would be bad. Okay, uh, should we prepare an expedition? Eh, nah, nah, we're gonna wait longer. We still have plenty of food and stuff, so we're good. I hope he brings back a med kit or something, or bug spray. One of those two things would be great. And there's still a chance we can fix the torch with the Boy Scout book, so I'm gonna, I'm just gonna assume that this is going to happen. Okay, time to ration supplies. Um, yeah, no, no, no. No, you don't need anything, we're good. All right, we have plenty of distant relatives, but none of them mean as much to us as Aunt Eddie, uh, Auntie Edda. Let's go and check the Boy Scout book for pictures. To avoid becoming a crazy people. I don't like becoming a crazy person. I am a crazy person, but you know, in the game, you know. Okay, so Mary Jane is hungry, hungry. Okay, wait, does Ted want some food? Yeah, he doesn't want anything, so we can just feed the daughter and the wife. And let's listen to the radio. That's all the events I'm getting. I would really like the one where we hear uh, the woman driving past through our town, then we just pick up some random I nice items. Often holds a med kit, and a med kit is one of these items that I would really like right now. <sighs> would make me feel much more comfortable. All right, has to drink. Ted is now hungry. Now you're hungry. Now you're hungry. Our patience is wearing thin. We thought it would be a good idea to take a quick look. Oh, it is Pancake! And I can't do anything about it. We will chase him away. Poor Pancake. We're just screaming in his face. Poor dog, looking for owners, and we just shoo him away. I wish I could do something. Ah, well. Um, yeah. Water, water. Ah, it's high time we stopped wondering about what's going on and started asking questions. Yes, let's listen to the radio for questions. Answers that is. All right, let's see. I'm I'm really hoping for it. some 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 good event that's going to help us out. Really, really hoping for it. Right, we were able to get a weak signal and tap into government emergency announcement service. And guess what? Great news. The fallout has mostly gone. All right, it's time to send Ted now. Now that the fallout has gone. Uh, water. Oh, it's also water time. I feel I'm gonna wait another day. And send him. Oh, I guess I can send him tomorrow. That's it. We've officially gone too long without a torch. If we don't fix it and play Shadow Bunny soon, someone may snap. Now let's repair it or completely obliterate the remainder of our... Really? And Ted injured himself. You gotta be kidding me. Great. The darn flashlight just blew up. Is anyone hurt? How do you... How does a... How does this blow up? Really? I need a casket and... I have no words. I, I have no words. No words whatsoever. Life is hard for us right now. Oh, I bet it is. Ted was hurt. Well, Ted. Oh, yeah. We're gonna send you anyway, even though you're injured, because you're the only person that I can send. <sighs> I hope he brings back a lot of food, a lot of water, because we just gotta... We, we have to survive until day 15. I am just gonna assume that this will ma make me win the challenge then. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Uh, okay, nothing new is going on. Ted left the surface. We hope he will be back soon. I agree. The wasteland is full of surprises, like this man on the other side of our door knocking and claiming he's willing to offer a lot for decent ammunition. Shall we trade? No! I'm not allowed to trade. You may not trade or gamble with any travelers according to Icy Caress. Or Icy Caress. No, Caress. That's Icy Caress. That's it. I'm bad with nicknames. Okay. 
Nothing I can do. Bye bye. Bye bye, trader. No trading. I'm gonna keep my checkers. Also, the only thing we could have done, we could have given him the checkers board and he would have just taken it and walked away. We wouldn't have gotten anything. He was disappointed, but so is life. Life is disappointing, especially when we just dropped, when we just survived the nuke. Just be happy you survived that. Okay, Mary Jane's diet could use food and Dolores would like to eat something. No problem, girls. We are not alone. There's a huge hairy bunny beast that seems to be hiding in one of the pipes. It's been poking its head out, eyeing our measly food sash. We can't let it get to it. We can let it in be here when we sleep. <clears throat> Didn't want to scream that. Felt, felt I need to worry that up. But yeah, nobody wants the bunny beast. Surprisingly, wait, did we lose a soup can? We lost the soup can. That beast of a rodent won. It won and stole our food. Can or no can, at least we have each other, right? We're just worried it'll come back and finish what it started. <sighs> well, at least we didn't go crazy, but the bunny monster took our food. We have 0.25 cans of food left. <sighs> okay. Water tomorrow. Let's hope Ted brings back food. Let's listen to the military and hope that they have some good news for us. But yeah, I'm just hoping that Ted makes it back with lots, 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 lots of soup. Because these guys need to survive. If he comes back with food, I might just not even feed Ted. Alright, Dolores will not survive with water much longer. Let's give him something. We've been inside. <laughs> we might be safe inside the walls, but there are other problems to consider. None of us can sleep properly. Yep, if I only had a med kit. I totally don't. Up, oh, up, oh, Ted, Ted. Oh, okay. Never. Oh, actually, you brought a lot of food. Needle. Okay, so let's have a quick look. Let's have a quick look. While we explored one of the streets, our monkey companion ran away. We got the monkey vent. Yay! Only to come back moments later carrying a can of food. Yes, two soups. Two cans of soup. And the monkey found a bottle of water. My favorite kind of monkey. When he finds food for me. My favorite kind of monkey. I didn't know I had a favorite kind, but that definitely is it. Or these little ones. I forgot what they're called. They're like super small monkeys and they run all over you and they steal your stuff. They, they ran all over me in South Africa. It was fun. I forgot their name. Uh, Kapuzina Häffchen. That's the German name. Feel free to translate that one. All right. So, uh, yeah, we got a bottle of water. Mary Jane went nuts. And Com for Dolores and Ted looks very weak. Okay. Let's think about this for a second. We got 2.25 cans of soup. Uh, it is day 16. I mean, Ted is injured, but he's not sick. We might be able to send him out once more once he... Feels better, so I think I'm going to feed him. Um, what about Dolores and Jane? Mary Jane went nuts and calm. Okay, they actually don't need food right now. And need no water. What about Ted, though? Ted is really tired. Okay. Let's think. How long could they survive? Those two. They could survive for 20 more days. Oh, that's not enough. We have to send Ted once more. At least once more. And I can send one of those two, so we're just going to have to wait until Ted feels better. Ooh, look at that! Offers a bottle of water in exchange for the board of checkers. Is that worth it, though? The board of checkers could help us stay sane, but it's water. Oh, wait, never mind. Haha, -ha, I'm not allowed to trade or gamble with travelers. Ha! -ha. Never mind. Bye bye, traveling salesman. I'm not allowed. My wife won't let me. My wife has a list of things that she allows me to do or not to do. Get off the... You're not a chicken. Murray Jane, you're not a chicken. You might be a pheasant, but you're not a chicken. Okay, Ted's stomach is rumbling. Ted is really thirsty. Okay, since Ted is thirsty, that worries me. See, these guys, these two are not thirsty yet. Dolores isn't thirsty, Mary Jane, but Ted is. So I think Ted's thirst changed. Yeah, he's thirsty. Um, meaning that he will dehydrate before the others. So I'm going to give him water right now and I will give him water on day 20 again to bring them all to the same schedule again. Oh right, he's also hungry, isn't he? Hmm. Ted, Ted, Ted. I will try because I would really love to send him outside. He is hurt though, but he might be better when we feed him properly. At least that is my hopes here. I have high hopes for you, Ted. Dolores is looking so disapproving. All right, Dolores has a drink and Mary Jane has a drink and Ted is hungry. Ted, another can, of, really? Another can of soup? You're gonna do that to me? 
Okay, last can of soup. I hope that will help. Those wounds hurt like hell and they're not getting any better. It's high time to fix them or tent might get worse and infection is no joke. All right, I'm going to hold off on that soup for now and see how that works out for him. If he's getting sick now too, there's no way he's... Nope, he's sick now too. Ted, I don't think Ted is going to survive this. This is not looking good for you, buddy. Meaning, um... Yeah, I'm not going to feed him anymore. Dolores wants food, Mary Jane wants food. We got to think about the important people in the shelter. Okay, water tomorrow. Yeah, I wish I could send them. Ooh, that other door in the shelter. Should we it even be there? Where does it lead? Well, since we don't have any of those two items, we can't check it out. We're gonna, just going to barricade us. Barricade it and assume there's nothing there. Mary Jane keeps fainting. Dolores will not survive without water. And Ted is hungry. Okay. Water for everyone to bring them all on the same schedule. And I think that might be the last water that Ted gets because he's really in a bad shape. Really bad shape. Mary Jane didn't utter a single word today. This is very odd. Maybe someone should find out what's going on with her. Yes, let's talk to the crazy person and make them less crazy. Yeah, you know. Actually, that helped. She's normal again. She recovered. Mary Jane is no longer crazy. Nothing solves problems better than an honest conversation over hot beverage. So, Mary, I think we should talk about this. You and your dad, me and your dad, we're really, we're really worried about, about your behavior. See, you're not a chicken. You are a beautiful, strong, independent girl. I know you're, you're weighing a few pounds too many, but this is only a good thing now. Now stop being a chicken and wife, a uh, 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 woman, the F up. That's how you talk to them. That stomach is rumbling. Mary Jane is no longer crazy and Dolores is doing quite well. Well, Ted, I can't really help you there. I don't, there's no way that I can save you. And today an army broadcast interrupted, let's say, call it breakfast. Well, I can't go there. I don't have a map. I'm sorry. I, I can't. I can't tell you where I am, dear military. You're just gonna have to find us regardless. How did you get yourself so dirty, Mary Jane? You just all of a sudden got dirty. And she's fatigued. Ah oh, well, nothing I can do about that. Ted is hungry. Hmm, I bet he is. I bet he is. Playing a game or two might be a good way to relieve our mood and take our minds off the problems of today and tomorrow. Well, you go ahead and play those checkers. You, you play them hard. I hope Ted survives a few more days. I mean, you never know, maybe there's going to be a lucky event. We get we get ammunition and then we get the dirt event and he can heal or something silly like that. I do not know. A med kit would be a good thing now. Can we spare some water? Mary Jane has been asking about it all day. Dolores needs a drink. Ted is hungry. I don't think I'm going to feed him now. The trash can is overflowing. Let's use the Boy Scout book. Very well. And ah, we're not there yet. Not halfway point. I mean, I made 24 days. How much more can... How much harder can 26 more be? So hard. Ted is hungry. He looks like he got one foot in the grave. If he doesn't drink, eh, eventually, eventually. I'm surprised how long he can hold out with food without food. Something's missing. Let's see. Fan check. Uh, fan arm. Check. Strange noises on our pipes. Check. Hellish yells outside. Check. Oh, Dolores hasn't spoken for a while now. That's it. And it's really strange. Talking to her would be a good idea. Honey, honey, are you all right? Honey? Well, her stare just killed Ted. Yep, that happens when you when you want to converse and just, hey, honey, how are you doing? I'm fine. Really? Yes, I'm fine. And then he died. Something along those lines. Something, something. There are only so many days a man can survive without food. Ted was strong, but it was too much for him. He starved to death. That is okay. I kind of expected that this would happen. He was sick, and there was no way I could have healed him. Better we use the food on these two ladies. Because they have to survive. All right, they could use food. Talking about food and water. Time to give them some. Okay, they can survive for um, 10 more days with water. Actually, 15 more days. So let's hope we get an event in that time that will save us. We are about to go to sleep when we heard someone knocking on the door. Who could it be at this hour? Who could it be in this part of Wasteland? How the hell did they survive the nuke? Should we open up? I feel it's a prankster. It might be an... Here's the thing. Usually I open the door at day 30, after day 30, but this is, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna have to open it. 
I... It can be Raiders. I'm willing to risk it, but it's knocking on the door. It's not crazy banging, so who knows? Day 26, it was not the military. Nope. Nope, we got... We, yeah, yep, yep. We opened the hatch, but there was nobody there. Damn pranks just making jokes even after the apocalypse. I had my hopes up. I had my hopes up I, that I could have survived this. Oh, well. Mary Jane isn't worried. Dolores is pretty fatigued. Oh, well. New news is good news. Let's keep going and let's see. Maybe, maybe the military will knock. Who knows? Maybe we get very, very lucky. We can, we can take care of ourselves. I bet you can. That's why I have to do everything for you. What's that sound? Oh no! Something or someone's below us. It is only reasonable to go and check it out. How about using that manhole in the corner? No, don't. I don't have a I don't have a torch or an axe. Don't. Please. Stay. Ah well, they won't. They won't. Y you never listen, Mary Jane. You never listen. Going into a tight, dark tunnel is not a good idea, especially with those weird noises coming from it. They are giving us the creeps, even up here. <sighs> we should get Mary Jane something to drink, and she went nuts again. You just like to do that. Well, she doesn't approve. Like, uh, why did I... Why did I get a daughter? I wanted a son. Oh, right, I had a son. I forgot him. Oh, well. Well, do they need any kind of supplies? Mm, no, not right now. I think we can wait two more days. And another army broadcast asking us for... Well, to meet them or something. With the map, which I don't have, therefore I cannot do this event. It's just taunting me. Just taunting me. Okay. Water, not today. Ooh. We already gotten ourselves our very old Fallout Garden. We got a bunch of mushrooms growing on the walls. They're big enough to be eaten. How about that? Should we prepare a mushroom feast today? Yes, absolutely. Because we have, well, a little bit of food left, but I am gladly taking the opportunity to have more. Let's prepare a mushroom feast. Well, that was a horrible idea because now we're sick. I was hoping that this would weren't work. We learned something today. Tomato soup is our best friend and mushrooms aren't. Dolores got ill. Well, Dolores. That is our last water. So... Oh, there it goes again. Noises. Weird noises all the time. Are they coming from the pipes? Walls? Is something bad at the door? We don't know, but we will play checkers and forget everything about those scary noises. That's like, you know, flipping on your, like, the murderers in your house. Killing everyone. Ah, it's just a play game, boy. It's gonna be fine. Let's just ignore it. Something along those lines. Maybe just not that extreme. Mary Jane is quite hungry. Dolores is doing quite well. Or she just can't find anything to complain about. Ooh, burn. Well, you might also be too sick to complain about something. And she's turning into a zombie, I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure. Okay. There we are, thinking it's a day like any other when Mary Jane confronted us. She said it's her birthday, but she doesn't want a gift. Not in this situation, not in this economy. Well, guess what? You're not getting a birthday. You're not getting anything. If you're complaining about that, it might be one of these things of where, you know, she's saying, like, don't get me anything, and then you don't get her anything, and she's upset at you for not getting anything, because she just said that. She didn't mean it. Mary Jane is too old for birthdays. That's what we think. Well, she's actually okay with that. Mary Jane died, could use a little food, and she would love to eat something, too. Here's some soup. I know. Sorry about the mushrooms, Dolores. Really sorry about that. Not my intention to make you sick. I just was hoping for food. Well, it's day 33, and it's not looking too snazzy right now. I could really use an event. And we got something leaking from the pipes. At least we can fix that and don't have to worry about it. Poor Ted. Poor Ted. I feel we could have eaten him. Just saying. I mean, it's cannibalism. I know it's not cool, but hey. It's a dire situation. You want your daughter to die? Anyway. With a little bit of barbecue sauce, roasted lightly, might work. Ugh. No leak, no mess. Back to our tidy little shelter. Yes. Uh, no water today. We're gonna do water tomorrow. Time to listen to some radio chatter. Maybe we'll pick up some useful shred of information. How to get out of this mess? Like where we could find a med kit that she needs so badly, or food, or anything. It's day 35, and I don't have any water. No. Well, nothing, nothing, and nothing. We could hear nothing but the annoying static and 
the droning hum of our impending doom, which is upon us, which will consume us. Ah, oh well. Ah, oh well. I tried day 35. Another government announcement. I should get out the map. <laughs> yeah, this is not happening. I have no map. Ah, oh well. It is the end. It is the end. The daughter ran away. The wife died. Didn't work out that well, did it now? Ah, oh well. Ah, oh well. When Mary Jane found out she's not getting a single drop of water, she got furious. She stormed out into the wasteland. And Dolores, well, she died of dehydration last night. Of all places we could have perished, this is probably the best one. Or maybe not. Anyway, we held out for 36 days. I hope you guys enjoyed this, uh, the outnumbered challenge. Or the female power challenge, whatever. And, yeah. If you guys have a challenge that you would like to see, if you would like to see a certain thing I try, feel free to leave a comment with that in the description below. Or... You know, upvote one that you like. If you see a challenge that you think, wow, wow, this is cool, like the one we just had. Maybe something with a story and some objectives in there. Then upvote it. And then I will see it and probably play it. If you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like, share it with your friends. I'm Weasel. I'm out and hope to see you around. Bye-bye.